up guys Jake again with another haul video believe it or not this could be things I've picked up through uh, sales we got full moon had a sale uh, screen factory had a sale and then other stuff is um, stuff that I've gotten at a thrift store flea market and some Amazon stuff um, a lot more DVDs than I would normally buy but uh, they were pretty cheap. So the first uh, DVD I picked up, got this off eBay. It's uh, One Hell of a Christmas. Um, it's another one of them Van Gogh uh, movies. Um, I remember watching this when I was younger, uh, but I don't remember much about else about it. So uh, it was pretty cheap on eBay, so uh, I picked it up. And I got this little gem at uh, Walmart. The Leprechaun's game. Look how awful. Look how ridiculously awesome that uh, cover there is. Yeah. That's the only reason I picked it up. Um, it, it, the movie is awful. Uh, like, really, really awful. I uh, do not recommend. And I picked this one up at the flea market. Um. All the flea market stuff is only a dollar, I think. But it's the Ugly. Um, I, this is another one I remember from my childhood. Um, it's, I remember being like really, really weird. Um, I don't remember much else about it, so can't wait to check it out again. And uh, if anybody remembers what, what DVD, other DVD this came with for the Walmart 2 pack, let me know because I can't remember. But that's the Ugly. And then I picked this triple feature up. It's pretty cool. It's got uh, Blood Gnomes, uh, Satan's Little Helper, and Spliced. I already got Satan's Little Helper on DVD. Um, but I got it for Blood Gnome and Spliced. Um, I've seen the trailer for Blood Gnome, and it looks like right up my alley. And uh, Spl bleh bleh. Spliced is another one of them early 2000s, maybe late 90s kind of slasher like movies so that's pretty cool this one I picked up at a flea market um probably not gonna keep this one I might watch it but I'm gonna send it to my good uh good friend Red Dawn of the Dead that is Robert Kirksman's The Rage um never I mean I know Robert Kirksman's you know directed movies and stuff but this is one I never heard of and um I'll give it a shot. It looks pretty, pretty wild. But, uh, Red Dawn Dead is a pretty big uh, Kirksman fan. So I'm probably going to send this his way. And then we got, we got uh, Scream Ripoff, RSVP. Yeah, RSVP. And this is another one I remember um, from my childhood. But I don't remember like that much about it pretty sure Jason Muse is in it yeah Jason Muse is in it so that's worth it already right there uh there's Tamara um Jeffrey Roderick I think it's like uh he wrote it he's the guy who did Final Destination and he is a Kentucky native so uh I had to pick that up and give it a uh, watch. Picked up the eight and the eight, uh, the eight films after dark series, Dark Ride. Um, I was really, I really, really remember liking this uh, quite a bit. It's got the um, kid from uh, Sandlot in it, but uh, yeah, it was really good. Now I'm getting into some Full Moon stuff. I did pick up some DVDs from the Full Moon sale just because they didn't. Some of them didn't have Blu-rays. Um, this one wasn't part of the sale. I found this while I was out thrifting. Vampire Journals. It's a Full Moon one I haven't seen, so I decided to check it out. And then uh, Arcade. I, I had this on VHS. I remember liking it. 
Um, and it didn't have Blu-ray release, it was only DVD, so I picked it up. This is uh, one from the Moonbeam line, which was like their kids' movies. Um, Spooky Town. Um, I haven't seen this one. Um, but like, uh, there's like one like Jack and the Beanstalk and some other ones. I got a lot of them on VHS too, but I remember them from my childhood. So I decided I would uh, pick that up. This one had a Blu-ray release, but it was cheaper on DVD. And uh, I hadn't seen it since the VHS days. Netherworld. I remember it being weird. Um, and I remember liking it. So I'm thinking on these full moon um, DVDs on the sale, they were like $2.99, $3.99. So that ain't that bad at, at all. And then this set I picked up on Amazon. Um, I'm excited to dig into this. Girls, Guns, and G-Strings, 12 film set, uh, the Andy Sidaris collection. Um, got um, Savage Beach, Malibu Express, Hard Ticket to Hawaii, um, all them classic. Um, I, I've never seen any of them, so I'm excited to check them out. I know Buff Bagwell is in Return to Savage Beach, so that's worth checking out in itself. And the last DVD I picked up, I found this at a place called uh, Mega Replay. They have used Blu-rays, DVDs, video games, all that stuff. So I found it in a while. It's one I've been looking for for a long time. Shocked I found it. Because even the DVD, I mean the Blu-rays on eBay is outrageous already. But even the DVD um, is pretty outrageous on eBay. At least the last, last one I've seen on there that you know was actually getting bid on. It was up to like $34 when I checked it. And it's a Kevin Smith uh, classic. Red State. I got that. Picked that up for $3.33. Um, I was very happy to uh, find this in the wild. Because I, I haven't seen it since it came out. It's just so hard to come by. Um, I mean, I guess you can stream it, I think. Um, but yeah, it's definitely... One of the better finds I found out in the wild, you know, this rare out of print stuff. Um, yeah, glad I got it for Mr. Bombastic did. All right, that's all the DVDs. Um, now I go into uh, the Blu-rays. Like I said, Full Moon, Screen Factory Sale, and some other just random pickups. I only picked up two things from Screen Factory Sale, and it's two things I've been wanting. And... Um, they sold out the last sale they had before I got a chance to get them. So I went ahead and grabbed them this sale. Uh, the first thing is the uh, rack box set. You know, it's got one through four in it. Um, I've only seen the first one. I haven't seen any of the sequels. And it's been a long time since I've seen the first one. Uh, so I can't wait to uh, check in this. I, I do like film footage quite a bit. And the last thing I got from the Screen Factory sale was the uh, Creep Show uh, box set kind of thing. I've been wanting this for a while so I could pair it with the awesome uh, Arrow box set that I got. It's a little, it's a little, it's quite a bit thicker than the Screen Factory, but you know they both got booklets on uh, them, and you know I, I think I like. Creepshow 2 more than Creepshow, but that's just, this is the first one I've seen, and I watched it a lot as a kid, but, uh, y'all. Yeah. Then uh, I got one Vinegar Syndrome, um, I got a big Vinegar Syndrome order coming through in the mail, um, sometime, but uh, I picked this on Amazon because it's like $17.99, really, really cheap for uh, Vinegar Syndrome. So don't panic. Um, I've watched this, and uh, I like it. Uh, it's, it's pretty. It's a pretty fun movie. Um, I'm still not sure why a uh, 17 year old is uh, wearing dinosaur pajamas all the way throughout the film, but yeah, it's a pretty fun movie. I got I got the rest of. Uh, I'm trying to think of this guy's name. It's a Mexican 
Ruben Galdendo Jr. We did like Cemetery Terry and Grave Robbers, and I got both of them coming in um, to see them. Now I guess uh, this is uh, stuff I picked up at Walmart on Blu-ray. So Shutter, Random Acts of Violence. Um, I mean, I do have Shutter. I could watch it on Shutter, but it's pretty rare that Walmart, like on these Shutter stuff, that Walmart has the Blu-ray editions of it. They'll have the DVDs, but very rarely do they have the Blu-ray edition. And they have the Blu-ray edition. And it was like twelve ninety-nine. So I picked it up. The last one <clears throat> got from Walmart, Frog Turn, the um, remake, reboot, remake, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, I think the the same writer wrote this that did the original. Um, I watched this last night. I still don't know how I feel about it yet. Um, I mean, it's definitely different from. The original and some of the story really don't make much sense and there's really no reason for it to be set in Virginia um but yeah I still I'm gonna have to give it another watch I will say definitely for sure it's about 20 30 minutes too long um this could have been an hour 20 minute hour and a half movie um, but it's like two hours long uh, now we'll go get stuff off Amazon, uh, mostly Screen Factory stuff. I mean, this stuff's really cheap, and I don't have it yet. So I figured I would uh, go ahead and pick it up at like 11 12 bucks. First one is the two-pack of uh, Ghost House and Witchery. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen Ghost House. I've never seen Witchery, but it's got Linda Blair in it. Um, so I'm definitely excited to check uh, both of them out. I picked up the uh, two pack of Scanners 2 and Scanners 3. Um, I think I like I like Scanners. But I really like Scanners 2. So, I don't know. I'm I'm excited to go back and watch these. It's been a while. I need to pick up that Criterion Scanners edition. The last Screen Factory thing I got is one of my one of my favorite anthologies, Dead Time Stories. Um, it's really fun, really fun anthology. Um, it's almost kind of like a, I would have thought like Troma made it. That's how like out there and ridiculous some of the stories are, but it's really fun and it's uh, it's one of my favorite anthologies. I like anthologies a lot too. Uh -oh. Well, oh no, one more thing from Amazon. Sorry, this is one that I remember. Back in the early convention days of going with uh, Red Dawn Dead, him picking up the boot of this, and it looked amazing. And he has since watched it and said it has not very good, but I'll be the judge of that. Um, it's Mr. No Legs. Um, it's an action movie with a guy that has literally no legs in a wheelchair. He's got guns and all kinds of stuff. Um, what was wheelchair? And... Oh shit. My lamp's sitting that back to Amazon. Oh, that's broke. <sighs> Alright, now the rest of this is uh, full moon Blu rays I picked up. First one's Lurking Fear. Um, another Stuart Gordon. No, it ain't. Yeah, this is one of the, probably the only Lovecraft things Stuart Gordon did do. Uh, no. But, um,. It's been a while since I've seen this. I remember liking it. The Doll Man. Uh, I mean, if you haven't seen Doll Man, you need to. It's great, fun. This is more action sci-fi than horror. We got uh, Pit and Pendulum. Just got Jeffrey Combs, Lance Hendrickson. Um, Stuart Gordon did direct this one. Um, but yeah, this, this is pretty good too. I like all Full Moon stuff. Full Moon's one of my favorites. Um, then uh, Dr. Mordred. Um, 
haven't seen it, but I, I'm, I mean, almost looking from the cover and stuff. Probably looks like a full moon attempt at Doctor Strange, which um, should be really, really fun. And the last one I got is one of my all-time favorite full moon movies of all time. One, probably one of my favorite um, killer toy movies. It's Demonic Toys. I love, love, love this movie. Watched it a bunch when I was a kid. Can't wait to pop this in, see what it looks like for Blu-ray. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen this, you need to check this out. Now, a lot of this Full Moon stuff, you don't want to buy it. Most of it's on Tubi for free to watch. But that's it, guys. Uh, that's, that's my haul from another more I uh, can't talk. But uh, a lot of stuff again. A lot more DVDs than I would normally buy. But, I mean, for the right price, I'll buy anything. But, till next time, guys, be good.